We ready? Day two. I've got to win this round today. It's pouring down rain. Didn't get much sleep tonight, last night. Yo, yo, yo. I didn't get much sleep last night because it's been storming all night long, man. I'm talking about straight booming outside the window. So, uh, let's go. That's almost like that, you know, the Billy Madison deal? You know when the, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I can't see you right now, but he's like, <laughs> Billy Madison's on. He's like, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> what up? We're all getting gas right now. Sizzle is in second place, one ounce out of the lead. Second got to always out, dude. He catches nine, four, nine, five. Punk. Hey, I hope he does catch him today, kids. I gotta feel I am. <laughs> Hey, look. You gotta go in there. Coleman's right there since 1939. Same people still in there working. OGs. Them my kind of people. Walking in there, they smoking straight. Marlboro Reds. I mean, I don't, I don't smoke Marlboro Reds, but they just old school. Y'all gonna catch him, Lord, man? Duh. All right, guys. We are headed to the boat ramp. This is day two. I got, we got a camera in the boat today. We got John, it's John, ain't it? Yes, sir. We got John and Jim in the boat. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to win this round. You know, we're one ounce behind right now. I lost a few fish the other day. I lost a couple good fish. One I know was a five pounder. You know, I think if we just stay at it, stay steady, it don't matter if we catch them early or late. Just gotta catch some. But if you if we win the round today, then we advance automatically advance to the championship round. So that's the goal. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we're heading to the boat ramp right now. It rained a lot last night. Conditions are changing. I mean, it's 60 degrees right now. So. Another one bit of stink, I guess. I 
one to ten. One pound ten ounces on scoreable there. <laughs> I'm not I'm not playing. I thought I was hooked and digging. I think it come off for a minute. And another one ate it. Hey Dustin. Hey, can you just unzip your collar a little bit? The microphone's kind of rubbing. Dr. Foe has got a uh, two pound four ounce bass. He's moved into second place with 29 pounds 12 ounces. Anthony Craig Liardi's last bass was three pounds six ounces. He's in sixth place now with 22 pounds six ounces. Six ounces. Two, six. Thank you, Lord. Man, he was following that thing all the way up. Oh, you dirty, dirty dog. Come back, bit of big. Bud. Octopo has got another bass with two pounds seven ounces, giving him a total of 34 pounds, 11 ounces, and one pound seven ounces behind first place. Come on, Ot. Huh? And they're fighting like he ain't two pounds. I don't think he is. We'll see. One pound. One pound, four. 14 ounces. Oh, nice, man. He was close. That little black spot on his tail. It's pretty. I think he will. I don't I don't know. Come on, do it for me. One pound thirteen, one pound fourteen ounces, <sighs> non scrollable. He's skinny. Can we weigh him? One pound thirteen ounces. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do it. He's skinny. bit of change I just made? Four pounds. Four pounds, five ounces. Four pounds, six ounces. I was about to say four pounds, five ounces. Something different to see. Octo Foe has cut another bass, two pounds seven ounces, giving him 39 pounds five ounces. He's one pound three ounces behind first place. Mm 
Mm-hmm. She blows with it. Come on. Pounds nine ounces. Two nine. I I ain't gonna keep going. <laughs> I need to, but I just I don't. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could. I mean, that'd be crazy not to. But, I mean, this may go on for days. I, I don't know. I mean, hot may just keep. I mean, we, we may run it up to seventy pounds. You know, you gotta you gotta have it. You gotta think about Friday. You know, I mean, you gotta get there first, but. I'm just kind of a game of chess. Like, what do you do? I would love to get a lead and then go practice. You know, or Odd ain't gonna let up, bro. <laughs> Odd is not letting up. I would love to leave this and go catch what I could the rest of the day and let this rest for three more days. Imagine we'll be there in three days. Dustin, that last bass gave you 43 pounds, one ounce. I oh, suppose dude, it there's is so many out there. 39 pounds, out. five ounces is three pounds, 12 ounces. Behind you. There's an air, man. Third place is Spencer Sheffield with 29 pounds, 12 ounces. Kevin Van Dam is in fourth place with 27 pounds, 12 ounces. There's air. The wind shifted back out of the north, blowing on the front edge of this deal. They are there. They're not easy to get to five. So what happens is you'll sit here and fish, 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 and they're, they're scattered. And then finally, when they group up on that one little spot, that's when you can get them to bite. There it is. See him bite it? Hey, that, that's a little fat one. Come on, be two and I'm leaving. One pound 14. One pound 12 ounces? Dang, nice I thought he was pulling that. He's a little fat. Thank you, buddy. What are you thinking? Ah, oh, well, I, I think I could sit here and grind it out and potentially win the round. But. Know. If I sit here and win the, or win the round, that's fine. I feel like I really need to go practice. I need to find another deal. I mean, I know I can go down and throw a jerk bait and catch some, but the only thing that's holding me up right now is just really cloudy. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go throw a jerk bait and bombed out clouds and kind of waiting on the sun to peek out and then I go do it. I really need to go practice. Like no matter what, because I don't think I can sitting right here all day. I gotta go find some more stuff. And again, I don't want to sit here and burn this spot up. But I'd love to get a little lead and then I just kind of back, you know, chill out, think the same thing. So that's just a little head game. I need to quit thinking and just get catching it be done with it. Huh. <laughs> there he is. Big. Big and done right here. Big Big and son. Y'all watch out. Get your big butt in here. We're doing right here.
<laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know where they're stay here and keep hammering down and give them three days to rest. I mean, it would probably make sense to do that. Oh, there's some more right there. I'm sitting looking at them. Four more right there. Two ounces. Yes. Thank you. Two, two. Thank you, Lord. Let's go. Let's go. The last bath brought you up to 50 pounds, three ounces. 10 pounds, 14 ounces above second place. Bo's caught another bass, it was 3 pounds 8 ounces, giving him a total of 42 pounds 13 ounces. He's now 7 pounds 6 ounces behind first place. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lines out, end of period 1. Not bad, not bad. I will take it. Not bad period at all. You know, I feel like this spot's really good spot you know early but and i hadn't even fished a lot of stuff you know i can go down i think i can go down and throw a jerk bait and catch a lot of fish i just i don't it's either it's either they're this big or they're like six or seven pounds you know so but if you go down and you catch one or two of them the rest of the day and figure something out for friday potentially we got to make it there first but I, I don't think I can catch any more right here. Maybe one or two. So we're going to kind of go practice around. Pick up a jerk bait. It's got sunny, a little wind. It might be by. Let's see. Pickle juice. Oh. It's extra strength pickle juice right here. <laughs> Is that Dill? It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sodium shot. What it is. SD error. Guys, I don't even know if we were recording or not on that, that deal. It says SD error on there. I'll give y'all an update. We just caught 20 pounds first period. Pretty stout. Pretty stout. Not bad. Got two periods to go. We're like five pounds down. We're in the lead right now, but we're five pounds down. Actually, they're five pounds down. So if we win the round today, we make championship round. They kind of quit biting right here. Then we're gonna go run around and throw a jerk bait a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines in. Lines in. Period two. Let's get it done. I think we caught another bass. It was two pounds, eight ounces. He's now got 47 pounds, seven ounces. He's two pounds, 12 ounces behind first place. I ain't going to do that. Nope, you got to hook tight, boys. Oh, you are scaring me, buddy. Got another bass. It was two pounds, eight ounces. That lead. 
He's now two ounces behind you. Hey, come on, Ot. Ot Capoe has caught another two pound, eight ounce bass. He's now leading by 50 pounds, three ounces. Hammer. You have 50 pounds, three ounces, but he's leading because he's got 21 bass. Dustin, score cracker update. Ot Capoe has caught a two pound, six ounce bass. He now has 54 pounds, 12 ounces. He trailed him by 4 pounds, 9 ounces. That's the score tracker update. Octopus caught another bass. It was 2 pounds, 6 ounces. Brought his weight up to 59 pounds, 11 ounces. He now trailed him by 9 pounds, 8 ounces. Dang, he catch a biggie. 2 pounds, 6 ounces. I want to try him about nine pounds now. Yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lines out. And you're out. Well, that's it, guys. Oh, congratulations, Aunt. You hammered him, buddy. What do you have? Thirty-four pounds. Thirty-five pounds. Pretty impressive on a day like today. Four pounds, four ounces today. That is really impressive on a day like today. You know, like like I said, I got a really good starting spot, and I, you know, I caught some fish in practice, but it, the wind was blowing really hard, and and I I think it was just kind of too calm today to catch them on a jerk bait. I man, I didn't catch them at all. The other day I was catching them, you know, steady, just all small ones. But I got an idea where I'm gonna go on Thursday, so. We we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Make that top eight. Good job, Ot. All right, guys. We just finished up day two. Um, I uh, I hammered down on them this morning. I mean, hammered down. I didn't think they were gonna be there that good. And then pop, four pounder. Pop another four pounder, pop five pounder. Come on, uh, I actually caught two good ones on a Carolina rig, old school, three eighth ounce weight. I was dragging them about seven foot, bandito bug, green pumpkin purple. No, yeah, green pumpkin purple, and then uh, 17 pound Seagore and Biz X Pro Series rod. Pop. But uh, yeah, I smoked them this morning, but then after that, it was like, I sucked. Can't complain though, I had a good morning. Made uh, the knockout round, I did not win the round. I got second place today. Congrats, Ott, Ott went on to go to championship round. He had a great day, he caught like 35 pounds or something. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna get back out there again on Thursday for the knockout round. We gotta make the top eight. And by the way, uh, on the GoPro, I don't know if we got footage or not. I literally got down with that little flurry. I started catching them. And uh, I looked down and I was like, I was like, is this thing on? And it wasn't on. And I was like, crap. So I know we got it on the back camera. But uh, anyway, so that'll that's going to wrap up day one and day two. We gotta, we gotta catch him in this knockout round, man. Look, it's 77 degrees. I cannot get a stinking bite shallow. So, you know what? Thursday, I'm gonna catch him at one place and we're gonna go shallow. I love throwing a jerk bait. I didn't catch him on it today. I gotta put it down. I gotta put it down. Like, I want to go shallow and catch him. It's springtime, it's March the 21st. 77 degrees, the water temp's like 67. There's like, to me, there's like zero bites to be had up shallow. I know for a fact some of these guys are catching them shallow because they, they ain't catching them deep. I didn't catch them deep today. I say deep, 8, 10, 12 foot, but I got a feeling a lot of stuff's gonna change in the next two to three days. You know, they, those areas that kind of stink right now, you may roll in there and catch four pounders. So, we're gonna mix it up. Appreciate you guys tuning in. That was day one and day two. Sam Rayburn. It's about to go down.